What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. I hate putting videos up this close together, guys. I'm not often wrong. But when I am, I'm sarcastic about it. I want you to go watch the video before this. It's interesting to me. You remember a couple years ago, every week somebody would take a shot at me. And all of a sudden, it just kind of stopped. Now they just block me on Twitter and wish that no one would watch my channel. And that's the point of this. That's the reality here. right? My channel, my voice, my opinion should be meaningless. When you have someone that's actually endorsed by EA, that gets the fake belt, that actually is the Madden champion, his opinion should mean so much more than mine. But it doesn't. Because of you, the community, the people that actually say, this is who I agree with, the people that come to a channel and leave a comment, hit a like button, all those things. So it's interesting to me tonight when he comes out and says, I must say I don't watch much football, but when I do, I see these teams run a ton of formations that aren't in Madden. Also, see teams run a lot of their formations that aren't in playbooks in Madden. It's coming from a guy that put a punter in and ran the same play over and over and over and over to win that fake belt. Now, the problem is people listen to him. EA listens to him. And as a matter of fact, when I talk about people taking shots at me, it's interesting how a lot of times those things kind of backfire in the long run. So, for example, to bring up this tweet here, he has a random question, just random. If I only spend 30 minutes of my day with Madden, how can I form my opinion on it? I guess I would respond, if you only casually watch football, how can you be a champion of a football game? It would seem to me like the person with more knowledge about the sport, more in tune with what works in the NFL, and certainly not just casual passing interest, should be a better player. That's why when you come to my channel, you not only see my opinion, but my opinion aligned with multiple former NFL players. You don't just see my opinion you see plays broken down in the way football is actually diagrammed against other games, against real-life concepts to show you how broken this game is. And maybe if people watched more football and understood the game from a fundamental perspective more, you would realize that it doesn't take more than three minutes in Madden to understand how broken things are. But that's why this game doesn't get anywhere. That's why this game doesn't get any better. There's no more indictment I could say against anyone in this community than what he's saying himself. And I'm going to end it the way I always do when people kind of come after me with their own words. Because my opinion in 30 minutes, well, your opinion was just go ahead and get mad and you'll enjoy it. But that was September 19th. Of last year. And now here you are. January 16th of 2021. Saying hey. I don't really watch a lot of football. I know how to put a punter and a quarterback. And run the same play over and over. But I found it really interesting. That when you watch the real sport. A lot of the playbooks. And a lot of the formations. Don't align with the game I'm the champion of. But when it came down right here. To sign on that line for EA to telling somebody what to do with their money. I've said a long time ago, and I've said for a long time, I don't tell people what to do with their money. I don't tell people to go buy or not go buy Madden. If you have to come to my channel to determine whether you're going to buy a video game or not, then you're really at the wrong place. If you have the money to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. I don't care. But for someone to sit there and in literally a handful of months, wonder how someone can form an opinion about something, tell someone else to go buy a game, and then later come out and say they don't even watch the sport. That's a new one for me. That's absolutely a new one for me. But it lets me know why when EA tries to make a better game and they depend on their Madden champions to do it, they're not getting football knowledge. They're getting 
casual knowledge. They're not getting what's going to actually make the game better. They're getting what makes the game exploitable. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking out, and you know I will be back. Because this game really has so many more problems than just the formations. But I'll cover that later. In the week, with more commentary.